Hey friends, it's Quenby, the Grateful Queen here on YouTube, and I'm back with another What's Sold video. I'm filming this video in April 2020 when we were all staying at home, and so I wanted to make some more uh, frequent what sold videos. There's a lot of talk in the reseller community right now about what's selling and what's not. I want to let you know that I'm primarily a clothing reseller and I have made some changes in my business since staying at home, but what hasn't changed for me is that I'm still making many sales. In fact, my sales are up this week from even last week and I'm not selling different items. So a lot of things that people are talking about that are selling are things like books and games and toys and um, uh, other kinds of products. And I haven't changed in that way. I'm still just selling clothes, men's, women's, and kids, clothes and shoes. I'm not selling any other items. Things that I am doing differently, I'm taking a lot more offers. I'm sending out a lot more offers and I'm trying to be as active as I can on the two platforms I sell on, which are eBay and Poshmark. So I'm sharing more, I'm having sales, I'm listing more, I'm just doing whatever I can while I'm safe at home in order to keep my business thriving. And it, I'm doing pretty well that way. So I'd love to hear how you're doing. And I'm gonna share some of my numbers and some of my what's sold for the week, April 1st through April 8th. Okay, if you're new here, hi, I'm Quen B. I'm a part-time reseller. I have another full-time job and I sell on eBay and Poshmark part-time. I've been doing it for about eight years. And on this channel, you'll see a lot of videos, some education on reselling, some mystery unboxing, some retail arbitrage hauls. I really mix it up in my business and it's a business I love. So let's go through some of my sales. I'll start with eBay. Um, my sales for April 1st through April 8th on eBay was $533.74. And that's actually up significantly from the week before. And my my posh sales are $279. Um, I tend to list more on eBay and be more active on eBay. I started selling on that platform, so it's like where my comfort zone is. And posh is kind of like a side hustle to my side hustle, so I've never sold um, more on posh than on eBay. But right now with this stay at home time, I started cross posting and doing some other things. So I am gonna try and build that posh um, platform up for myself. Okay, if you see me looking down, it's because my computer is over here. Let me see if I can put it in a place where I can see better. Okay. Um, okay, so one of the things that I sold were these pair of nine West women's heels, size seven and a half. They were pretty cool. They were kind of like a woven leather um, and they were a pointed toe and those sold for $29.99 plus on eBay when it's shoes or something heavy, I ship it in a padded priority uh, flat rate mailer. So I charge $8. So that sale, the buyer paid $40.61 for that. Um, with my totals for this one week period, my total in sales was $812 in sales. If we look at like a simple fee structure like Posh, they just do a flat 20%. So let's say eBay is a little different. Um, but let's say you took 20% off of that $812. That leaves me with $650 in after fees. And then you have to look at my cost of goods. And my cost of goods is somewhere around $3.00 an item. So that Nine West one was a surprising sale because I, a lot of what I hear people saying is like, people aren't buying shoes and dresses and heels right now. They're buying sweatpants. And it's true. I have sold um, a lot more like fitness and comfort clothes, but you'll see from my what sold, there's all sorts of things selling right now. This next item is one of my best selling brands on eBay and that's Chico's. This is a Chico's jacket. It was like a printed kind of blazer. I loved this white with the lime bright green and it was a size three. So in Chico's that's an XL and XL is my best selling size, even better than plus size. And it might be because I find XL a little bit more than plus, but XL women sells really great for me. Um, this I got at a yard sale for $3. I love yard sale shopping. I cannot wait for yard sale season. I hope we have a yard sale season this year with everything going on with stay at home. But um, I can usually remember the yard sale that I bought something at. Do you guys have that? And I remember the woman I bought this from, she had the coolest like um, silver frog brooch on and she had some cool items. I got this for three bucks and it sold 
for 18 I sent out a best offer. I'm sending out a lot of offers on eBay and Posh, and I'm accepting lower offers than usual. Plus, she paid $8 shipping for this, so her total was $27.56 on that one. This one's fun. Um, this was a Gap women's top, and I do a live show on Friday. It's called Live at 5. It's 5 Pacific. I'd love to see you there. I'm doing it Friday. Um, and I showed this top in that haul, and so many people in the chat were like, I love that. I want that top. It was just Gap, but it was a blush pink, which is a hot color, and it had a gold star print. So that's really on trend, actually, for 2020 spring and summer because blush pink is still in style, and we're seeing a lot more, like, metallic accents. Look at the sleeves on this Free People top. This is so, I'm like, I can see it, and I just think it's the coolest top. I bought this on Poshmark. I love free people. Um, anyway, so that was, um, that sold for $18 with free shipping. I think I had it up for $19.99, and they send an offer of $18, and I was like, sure. And I do free shipping on there. And it was a t-shirt. It probably cost me like $3 to $4 to ship that. Okay, this is another. Okay, so these next two items that I'm going to share were like super fast sales, you guys. Um, like, 24 48 hour sales this one oh this was so awesome that was also in my live haul this is a trina turk dress trina turk is best known for their high-end swimwear like 150 dollars swimsuits and this dress it was tiny so i thought that might make it um take a long time to sell but it didn't i had it priced at like 50 dollars. i got i sent an offer I either got an offer or I sent an offer for 35. Is that a little less than maybe I would normally sell it for? Yes, but that's okay. I'm just trying to keep flowing things moving. It was a silk dress and this retro print is what Trina Turk is known for. If you find their swimsuits and you find a print like this, even pre-owned, you can sell pretty well. This is a cool sale I want to talk about because it is a trend I'm noticing right now. This was a lot of little boys pants size a lot of three I lot of them together boys size 12 and I think I got a lot of these jeans in one of my um mystery boxes either from Goodwill Blue Box or Thread Up and I was a little disappointed like oh I didn't even know they had kids stuff um in the mystery boxes but they do those denim boxes can be anything it can be a denim jacket I've gotten there kids women's men's you never know what you're gonna get so true mystery I love it Anyway, I lauded these three pair together. They were mixed brands, but one of them was Joe Jeans, and they were pretty cute, Joe's Jeans. And um, I sold the three pair for $24.99, plus I paid $8 shipping, and I was able to get it, squish it into that padded flat right envelope. Do you guys ever do that? It's like, oh, it's going in there, because that's like the best deal. Um, so that was a pretty good sale, and it went to international. So I do use the um, eBay's global shipping program, and so, it, I ship it through the global shipping plan. I think it's like to Kentucky and then they send it on. There's no cost to me. I love that global shipping program. Do you think Posh is going to get something like that eventually, you guys? That'd be awesome. I didn't subscribe to Grateful Queen, so I had bad luck. I only made a little bit of money. And I had super bad luck. Now, I did subscribe to Grateful Queen, so I had great luck. I can reach when I was just a child. I was able to afford ruby and diamond bracelets. And I had the best luck ever. I won the soccer game. And so much money. Woo! It's raining money! Next item is what I would I called a lag and look item. That's how I listed. I have a video all about selling lag and look online. Um, if you're not sure what that is. It means layered look. And this top was a tank top and it sold for $25. And um, that's awesome because right now, spring, I always start getting my summer stuff ready. So I want to have a lot of linen in my store. I want to have shorts and swimsuits and tank tops, but tank tops are not an item. They're not a substantial item. They don't sell for that much. So I'm always looking for tank tops that I can get around $20 for, which is kind of hard to do. This one was not a brand I was familiar with, but it was new with tags. I got it at a thrift store a while ago. Um, the brand, I think it just said Bella Amoir Italy. So I think it was like a boutique brand, but 25 bucks for a tank top, I think is a pretty good flip. Okay. This is another sale I'll tell you guys about. So this is a brand to know, but maybe not necessarily this piece from the brand. You know how that is? Like 
certain brands have like really good pieces within the brand so the brand on this is cp shades and this is a women's top um cp shades is an awesome brand another kind of artsy lag and look brand and i've sold you know things more like in the 40 dollars range pretty quickly this piece sold for um 28 which i guess is actually still pretty good plus they paid eight dollars shipping so their total on ebay was 36 dollars. so i guess that is kind of a good amount to pay for a simple pop over top like this i just personally didn't think this top was that attractive it was sort of like a faded green and it was sort of um like textured it had a collar i just didn't think it was a very attractive piece from the brand but it still sold pretty well okay let's talk about a few poshmark sales let me get my computer over here how are your sales going and what's happening for you i've heard so many different things um from different resellers so um how is it going for you i'd love to hear okay poshmark okay so here's another um bundle that i sold uh well it wasn't a bundle it was one sale but i bundled up some boy shorts so these sold for 18 dollars it was five um, pairs of boys shorts, size six, seven. These were my son's. He hates wearing shorts for some reason. I have had in my death pile, money pile, smile pile, I have had two huge tubs of kids clothes and I'm like, I'm gonna go through these and I never wanna go through them because it's a little more work to like sort through, lot things together, um for not that much return but for five pairs of shorts they paid they sent me an offer on poshmark um i think i had it up for 25 they sent me an offer of 18 plus you have to think that buyer has to pay seven dollars shipping and tax so they probably paid a total of uh 28 dollars let's say for five pairs of pre-owned shorts and they were just brands like old navy but i have sold some more um kids clothes during this stay at home i wonder why that is this next sale is one of my favorite brands to sell on ebay but it's sold on pos so i want to talk to you guys about that this was a j jill size xl um top it was kind of like a white um ivory color with some stripes i bought it i want to say i paid like five bucks for it too and it sold for 20 on posh plus the buyer buyer played seven for shipping and tax so they still paid like almost 30 dollars for a pre-owned simple top from j jill um, but J. Jill sells really well for me on eBay. I usually was in the um, habit of putting Talbots, J. Jill, Styling Co., Chico's, all those kind of mature women's brand on eBay. And then separately, I would list all my trendy, um, younger fashions on Poshmark. That's why I've run my business for years. Well, recently, I finally got um, a cross-listing service. I got Vendu. And it takes like two seconds. I cannot believe I waited so long. If you're on the fence, there are two cross posting services that are well known right now, Vendu and List Perfectly. My friend Denali just said that she likes Vendu, so I went with that. It is so simple. I can't believe I waited this long. It was just another thing on my list that I couldn't get to as a part-time reseller. So I started cross posting some of my eBay items over onto Posh. I never thought that a J. Jail top was gonna sell on Posh but it did, so always learning. I love that about this business. Okay, this was a really good sale. So this was something from Retail Arbitrage from a while ago. Okay, so these shorts have a little bit of a story. So I sold these um, Good American shorts, size two, so small size, but Good American's an awesome brand, know it. These were denim shorts, new with tag, totally destroyed. They sold for $55. Yay, that's a really good sale for me. I mean, I'm so used to like quick flipping and selling things around the $20 mark. Um, so when I have a, like a $55 sale for a pair of shorts, I'm like, yes. I bought these retail arbitrage. God, when was it? It's been a little while because um, I think I paid $12, which is kind of expensive. But I knew with this brand, they had the potential to sell. The problem is these ones already sold once to a customer and it was my first case ever on Poshmark. I've had two cases in the two and a half years I've sold on there. Um, and this was a really disappointing one for me personally because they ruled in the buyer's favor. And the thing that was so tricky for me about that, like there are cases all the time, no big deal. Don't sweat them, just move on with your business. But these are new with tags. So I was like, how could she possibly win this case when they were new with tag? Here's the, what happened. 
So these had the, the new with tag from Good American on there. The little envelope. I don't know if you can see it in this picture. Yeah, it's hanging down. Cutest little tag from Good American. But they did, so I listed them as new with tag. I bought them new at TJ Maxx. I knew they were new. Retail arbitrage. But they didn't have the price tag on them from Good American hanging there. They just, and I didn't even know I needed to have both. So they ruled in our favor because she said these only have the Good American tag. They don't have the price tag. And they were listed as new with tags. And I was like, I've never even heard of that. I've been selling for over eight years. I've never had a return for something like that. If, but now what I do in the listing is if it, if it doesn't have the actual price tag from the uh, manufacturer, I'll just put, these have the brand name, Good American Tag, but not the price tag. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Anyway, I lost that case. But the next case, I've had two cases. The other one, um, I did win. And it was the same thing. I knew a tag item. I don't understand. Okay. Another sale I had were these Tiki pants. Um, Tiki is such a cute brand. I recently sold another pair of Tiki that had rainbows and hearts all over them. They do prints that are really cute. These I sold for 20 bucks, a little low, but um, another thing that I had listed on eBay and then I moved it over to Posh. I love this cross post with me. I'm so excited about it. Um, anyway, they were size extra small. I think I was hoping for more like 25 or 30, but 20 plus they paid $7 shipping plus tax. They're paying like almost $30 for a pre-owned pair of extra small leggings, but they were super cute. Blue floral, like high-waisted legging kind of thing. Um, is an example of me taking much lower offers right now just to keep flow happening in my Poshmark closet. So this was a free people dress. It was a size medium. Look how cute it was. It was mustard yellow. It had a little lace Peter Pan collar. I loved it. It had so many likers on it. Um, I forget how long I've had it listed, but probably like six months. I really thought it would sell. I had it up for 35, which I didn't think was that high. Again, tons of likers, but um, nobody bought it. So when she sent me an offer for $16, I was like, okay, she's paying 16 plus the seven shipping plus the tax. She's playing like 26 bucks. Okay, so I let it go for 16. I hope she loves it. I mean, it was such a cute style, I thought. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? Would that be would that be a low ball offer? Or would that be like what you'd expect for a free people dress? Um, it wasn't new with tags or anything, so uh, pre-owned, I don't know. A little bit low, but I'm happy with the sale. I'm grateful for all sales right now. And I'm kind of of the mindset, like I just like to th see things selling, I usually say yes to most offers. Sometimes I'll counter if it's seriously low, but I really just like things flowing. And it's like, I make a few dollars less on the free people dress, but then I sold the Good American shorts for 55, which was pretty great for that. I don't know. I, I kind of just think that it all balances out. How do you guys deal with that? Okay, and here's another one I'll talk about, which is this dress that is so cute. This was a dress by the brand Porridge, which I think is sometimes sold at Anthropology and or mod cloth and um it was such a great print i love this and it sold really quick it sold for twenty dollars um on an offer i don't remember if i sent it out or she sent it to me i'm sorry i just can't even remember um but it was a true wrap dress so it had the actual tie waist and you could wrap it around so it was adjustable it was great colors great print i hope they love it because i loved it i thought it was an amazing dress so those are some of my sales for one week on eBay and Poshmark. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. How are your sales going? What do you think about these sales? Would you have taken some of these offers or not? Things are still selling. Um, I know this is a hard time for all of us. So if you're having days where you're feeling discouraged or disappointment, disappointed, me too. Like that's a true real thing and you just have to feel those things. And then I hope what I'm trying to do for myself is just keep returning to my gratitudes trying to stay positive, trying to see the blessings in some of this staying at home time. I hope you're all doing well, you're healthy and safe, and your business is thriving. I'll see you in the next video, you guys. Bye. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hit it. Punch it.